So what you can also do inside of Microsoft Project is create out new groups to filter with. So to do that, you need to go around onto the view tab right over here on the top. And then over here, you can see the group by section. So you can go around and expand this. And then what you see is new group by right here. If I were to go around and click right here, then you can see that group by, then by, and then by is an option. So you can go around over here and choose the first level of group that you want to uh, divide your task with. For example, I'm just going to go around and select actual cost right here as the first group. And you can go around and select out the background color for that as well. So I'm just going to leave it that to default right here. And I'm going to go around the second uh, group that is the subgroup right here uh, for how I want the data to be grouped out. So I'm just going to go around over here and let's just go around and scroll this down and select out what I want. So let's say I want to uh, select this by percentage complete for the work right here. Then I'm just going to go around and select out a random one right here. And you can see that uh, this is what I have right here. And you can go around and select out a different cell background for if you don't like the one that is default. And you can even go around and change around the font for how that is displayed for the particular group. So once you're okay, you can also show the summary task and maintain hierarchy right here. And you can save this out right here. And that group has been saved out right here. So now if I were to go around and select out the custom group, now you can see the main group right here. Then you got the uh, completed, the subgroup right here, as you can see, which you can expand and collapse. And then you got the assignment right here. So depending on the uh, level of groups right here, you can see that it changes out. What you can also do is you can go around and copy out groups out of existing group and create new groups out of them. So to do that, you need to go around onto more groups and select out a pre-existing group right here. For example, I'm just going to go around and select duration right here. And once I do that, I'm going to go around and click on copy. So now you can see that duration task ascending is selected. So what you can do now is select out another uh, group criteria right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and select out, let's say cost right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go around and press save right here. So once I do that, you can see that uh, the copy is there. So you can also go around and then edit it right here to rename out the group right here. So I'm just going to go around and say custom group one, just like this and press save. And if I were to go around and press apply, you can see that the custom group has been applied out right there and the custom group is here. And that is how you can go around and create out new groups and then copy out groups inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.